Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a very, very long time since I've posted a video and I finally decided to post this unboxed video of this new kitchen mixer that I got um, a couple of months ago actually. I just had this video lying in my gallery and I thought it was about time I edit and post it. So I bought the mixer on take a lot for 3,400 rand. Um, I know that when I bought it, there was a promotion because it was National Baking Week and there were others that were going for 2.8. But the color that I wanted, which was this rose gold, was not on promotion. So I just bought it at the normal price. But do look out for promotions with Black Friday coming soon if you're interested in buying this machine. Well, other than the color, I was also looking for something with a big enough bowl. So this one is a 6 litre bowl, which is really uh, sufficient for my baking. And I love that it is still compact and doesn't overwhelm my kitchen space. Now I want to show you the attachments that came with the machine. Alright, so first up there's the dough hook, which is for breads and other stiff bakes. Then there's the beater, which is what I mostly use for my cake batters. Then there is the whisk, which I use for buttercreams or other lighter um, things like buttercream. <laughs> Now, if you've ever experienced a cloud of icing sugar or flour, you know that this is life-changing, okay? I love that it also has a little bit of a hole so that if you're mixing and you still need to add maybe your egg yolks one at a time, you can um, add them as it mixes, you know, without removing the attachment. Then the bowl um, has lock steadily into the base of the machine i mean it is so steady it took me a while to get it out of the base and as i said it is a really deep bowl okay i think it can take up to eight cups of like cake batter which is really i mean quite a lot um so i i really appreciate it and i'm really satisfied with it really As you can see that is where you can open and close the machine um, so really it grips or it clicks when it's reached the end so you know if the machine is fully closed uh, which is really helpful sometimes Then it also has these rubber stoppers at the bottom which should basically make it stick to the marble countertop so you know that even if you're mixing on high speed it's not going to move around and it's not going to fall off the counter I think because um, it does move at really high speed which I am going to show you um, just about now. When you switch it on, a little blue light comes on around the knob. Um, that way you know that the machine is on or it's off because it does stay on my countertop. So I know when it's on and I know when it's off simply by looking at the light. But that's also if it's closed. As I switch it on, listen to the sound it makes. It's a little loud but for me, I don't mind. Um, I don't think my housemates appreciate it though, but yeah. And this is how fast it mixes when it is on high speed. Hope you can see. 
um, and I'm lowering the speed a little bit but it is still quite fast okay to be honest with you I really put it on high speed unless I'm making like a meringue um, I really need to put it on the highest speed I think I'm always there by the minim the, the mediums um, that's usually enough <laughs> most of the time because sometimes you don't need to over mix some stuff so i feel like if it is on high speed you can easily over mix if you don't need to all right we've come to the end of the video let me know what you think in the comments are you looking to buy a machine do you have a machine what machine do you have what was the most important thing when you were looking for a machine or what's the most important thing for you and also let's um let's decide okay what do you think would you have folded and gone for a different color if the price was lower or would you have gone for the color that you really love um even if the price was not as low as you wanted it to be do you think i made the right decision um i personally stand by my decision but let me know what you think in the comments below Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, like, share, comment and I'll see you next time.